Hey guys, Evil Ernie here again from ObsidianVapor.com, Obsidian Vapor Company. Today uh, I'm going to go a little more in depth with cardamizers. Alright, here I have a standard, brand new, still in the wrapper, uh, Boge cardamizer. Uh, Obsidian Vapor does sell these, so go up on the site, check them out. Sell them singly, you know, individually, or uh, in a five pack. Anyway, we're going to show you a little bit more about these. These are a real popular way to vape. I love them. That is if you can get them out of the wrapper. Ah, maybe. Time for some scissors. Scissors, man's best friend. Boom. Alright. Sometimes you can rip them open if you're not a sissy like me. Alright. So here we got the cardamizer out of the wrapper. You notice it has two uh, rubber caps. Uh, most of the time you will hear these being referred to as condoms. Um, these just pull off just like that and ah, like that. Okay, quick thing about the, the condoms. <clears throat> This is the one that goes on the threaded end. This has a a little um, plug that goes in there. You can keep this or throw it out, but you know what? Keep the condoms. The long one goes on the threaded end, short side goes on the mouthpiece. Um, mouthpiece does not have a, a plug in it. Keep them because if you only use the Cardo once and want to go to, to a different flavor or if you one of those people that uses multiple cardamizers. Um, the condoms are a great way to uh, store your cardamizer. All right, now a cardamizer, real quick, is a combination of atomizer and cartridge. All right, cardamizers are, are real slick. They hold uh, this particular model holds about one to one point one milliliters of juice, which is about twenty to twenty five drops. Um, excuse me. Uh, the mouthpiece, it has a soft white mouthpiece. And we usually can get that out. You can use either a paper clip or, in my case, I am using. Ah! <laughs> I'm knocking everything all over the place here. You can use a T pin. I like T pins. T pins are pretty cool. You use them for all kinds of stuff. So, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to take the mouthpiece out of this. Take your T-pin, stick it in the center hole, but don't go way down inside. The, you'll see here as I pull this out, this mouthpiece is, is not real deep. So just kind of go in there a little bit and get a hold of it and work it out of there. It should just pop right out, and that's about how wide it is. All right, so there's your mouthpiece. These are, this one is a, a soft mouthpiece. They also sell a hard plastic one. I believe those are glued in. So if you're going to buy your own cardamizers, buy them with a the soft one. It's a lot easier. So now that's out, you can save the mouthpiece if you want, if you want to use that mouthpiece, or you can chuck it. Inside, you will see the white filler and a little black wire. Now, there is a tube also in the middle of this that runs the whole way through the cardamizer, and you can see through it. All right. When you're filling these, you're going to drip your bottle into it. Let me find something yummy to put in here. Oh, I got some RY4 here, my own Obsidian RY4. I love this stuff. Um, just take your bottle, and when you're dripping, just angle it. All right, so you're not going to drip, hold it straight up and down, and drip directly into it because you'll probably end up getting juiced in that tube. It'll go right out the bottom. Makes a big mess. It's a waste of juice. Usually ends up in your battery. You don't want that. Now this is a brand new one. This cardamizer will probably take about 25 drops. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, let me uh, let me move things around a little bit and see if we can make this work. Hang on. Okay, so now what we have here is, I think I found a good angle here to do this. Uh, what we have now is our cardamizer, brand new cardamizer, with the uh, mouthpiece off and the caps off. I have my RY4 juice here. I'm going to try and angle myself around here to do this and so you can see it. 
Um, when we're dripping, a lot of times you will find on these cardamom, let me pull back so you can actually see, the center tube here may be offset to one side or the other. It's Don't worry about it, it's not a big deal, but try and put that widest space towards the bottom where you're going to drip into. That gives you the most amount of room to drip into. It looks like right about there is about the right angle. So we take our bottle and start dripping. Now in a brand new cardamizer you want to go kind of slow. There's five drops. And you can see the color is kind of changing a little bit. That's because of the color of the juice I'm going in, in with. On a brand new cardamizer, you're going from a dry environment to a wet environment. So it takes a little bit of time for that juice to make all the fibers in there wet and absorb the juice. Went a little too fast, it went up over into the tube. Not a biggie, we're going to show you how to clean up. Kind of glad that happened. There's 10 drops in there so far. And what you can do is you'll start to see it make a little puddle in there. When you start to see that puddle, lay off the juice, allow it to, uh, to soak in. Alright, so now it's all soaked in, there's no no puddle there. Make sure I still got. Okay, there's 20. See, there's a little bit of a puddle in there. Kind of hard to see. This thing don't focus too well. But it's soaking in there. It's all soaked in. So I got 20 drops in there. Being it's a brand new one, I might be able to grab one or two more. One, uh, two, a little bit on the side, not a big deal. Alright. A very wise man named Arclight once said, When you think you can fit one more drop in, don't. I live by that. I think I could probably get another one or two, but I'm not going to try it. Alright, so it looks like we did pretty good. I'm looking down the tube. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can angle. There you go. You see daylight at the end of the tunnel? <laughs> There's nothing in that tube. It looks clean. So I think we're good to go. So that's it. That's how we fill it. A little bit from my fingers here on here. I'll wipe that off. And we'll take our. Let's go with a Hello 16, 016 battery. Screw it on there. Take a mouthpiece. And there you go, you got a cardamizer ready to go. What I'll do is I will move my camera back around again and we'll vape this bad boy. Woohoo! Alright, let's see what we get out of this. Got our Hello 016 battery, 1300 Ma, these are really cool batteries. Um, Bosch cardamizer, regular old Delrin drip tip I just put on as a mouthpiece. Makes vaping with these a lot easier. That's what I'm talking about. These are really good. One thing about these, they are a little, especially when they're brand new, they're a little noisy. Um, some are noisier than others, but um, when uh, when you first start using it, you can hear it crickle and crackle and you know bubbling as it vaporizes and you know you you got a 
a real good vape going on. Now this one's a, a Hello 016 battery. Uh, this particular one is a Dark Star from uh, eLiquid Planet. I bought it five months ago. Bought a couple of these. These are really good batteries. Um, 1300 mAh, 3.7 volt, good stuff. That's a brand new cardamizer. I also have a cardamizer on my pipe bomb. <laughs> I call it the pipe bomb. This is a saber touch from uh, vapormoon.com. Uh, it also has the same kind of cardamizer <clears throat> and a mouthpiece. The Saber Touch, this is a 5 volt model. Um, the standard res cardamizer runs fantastically at 5 volts. I don't know if there's anything in here. Don't remember. It's kind of been sitting for a few days. I forgot what I put in it. But let's give it a whack. I think I have coconut rum in there. And it's almost empty. I'm getting that little bit of a burning taste to it. Oof. At 5 volts, these, these cardamizers kick ass. If you get a chance, go up on vapormoon.com and pick yourself up. Uh, they sell a couple different kinds. They sell, I believe, they sell the 5 volt, which is what this one is, a straight 5 volt, or, don't quote me, I think they sell also a variable volt where you can actually adjust the voltage, but it's a touch button system. You just touch one of the end caps and the button at the same time, lights right up. Um, these are really cool. I love this thing. Do not take these on an airplane, no. <laughs> uh, they'll be asking you a lot of questions. Um, but at 5 volts, these things work really good. Also, I'm also running a cardamizer on my, change my mouthpiece here, on my Ego set. Uh, I sell these. So go up on the site, check them out. This is basic Ego. Uh, 650 ma, 3.7 volt. This battery is probably almost dead. I've been running this thing for two days now, the same battery. Yeah, still run pretty good. You can't go wrong with this. Cardamizer is the best way to go. Now there is another cardamizer out there that's pretty popular. It's, uh, I guess they call it the E2 ceramic cardamizer. Those ones aren't too bad. The Vaporon nose is a little bit warmer. Um, the thing about those is you need a syringe to fill them. And I used them for a while. They work fine. As a cardamizer they work great. But it was that whole syringe deal I didn't like. And a lot of people kind of gave me some weird looks. You got to, you know, you're working a, a little syringe with a little plastic needle at the end and, you know, you're filling, you got your juice bottle, you fill it up with juice, stick it in there and then when you're carrying all this stuff around, especially at work like I do, you get some weird looks. It looks like you got, you know, works going on, drug works, you know, you don't want that. So I went with the Bose because all I got to do is just make sure I got a, a good battery with me a good cardamizer and a bottle of juice and I'm good all day. Done. There's nothing else to carry. Unless you know you're going to be out for a long time you might want to bring maybe one of these. I picked this up at Walmart I think for two bucks. It's a uh, USB um, one of those USB thumb drive holders. That's all it is. I think I picked it up for two bucks. It holds the two Ego batteries. You can see I got a drip tip with a regular atomizer and a couple of new cardamizers ready to go. Throw my batteries in there and I'm and I'm good to go for the night. It's it's ready it's ready to go. So that is uh the basics of cardamizer vaporing uh vaporizing. Uh I'm Evil Learning. Thank you very much for watching me and uh come visit us at obsidianvapor.com obsidian vapor company. Check it out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.